Cry Rittenhouse is back in the news again, y'all. He's back in the news. And you know I'm going to do what I do by updating you. So Kyle Rittenhouse was supposed to be doing an event at a Las Vegas hotel. And the event got canceled. And he's now blaming the woke mob for getting canceled. So let's get into this Cry Rittenhouse story. The young man who was controversially acquitted by a judge to act more like a defense attorney of all charges after claiming he acted in self-defense when he was still underage and on the streets in the middle of a protest. And he ended up killing people that looked just like him right? In Kenosha. Well, he has condemned the so-called woke mob after several of his planned events were canceled by venues. Mm -mm -mm. He's getting that George Zimmerman treatment, y'all. Y'all remember the same thing? I did a video on George Zimmerman, he was going to be booked at a hotel to speak. I don't know why anybody would want George Zimmerman to speak. And that got canceled after the hotel realized it was George Zimmerman coming. Rittenhouse 20 has been something of some type of white supremacist hero of the gun rights movement in America. <laughs> this is your hero, huh? Oof. Mm, Y'all need to... Then again, that standard is kind of perfect, y'all. Leave that standard alone. It makes regular appearance, both private and public events, since he was cleared by a Wisconsin jury. Two of the people he shot died. A third one was seriously injured amid disturbance and high tensions that followed the August 2020 shooting by, uh, uh, this was all about the shooting of um, Jacob Blake. Y'all remember, and he's now paralyzed for the rest of his life. So he was going to speak at a right wing uh, I guess, event that was about to happen. And um, mm, Mr. Rittenhouse complained that two of his events were canceled. Mm, I guess he didn't like that, y'all. He don't seem to be liking the fact that people, there are people out here that see him as a straight up murderer and they don't want him at their business. I guess this is shocking and appalling to somebody like Cry Rittenhouse. So um, once he had been due to be held at a bury, yeah, I remember that. I saw it online. I didn't do the story. In Texas, while another was a private reception that was scheduled to take place at the Oak Room inside a Grand Canal shop. And this was supposed to be in Las Vegas. Mm -mm -mm. So this person, Mr. Gorka, who has his own podcast, America First, and also the host of a weekend program, the Gorka Reality Check on Newsmax TV. Yeah, isn't that the same Newsmax that Diamond and Silk was on? Mm, I think it was, right? Mm -mm -mm. And he was asking, what happened to Cry Rittenhouse? Something happened. I was supposed to be given a speech at the Southern Star Bureau and with Defiance Press, and they booted us because of the woke mob. They found out that I posted about it. Mm -mm -mm. This is what Cry Rittenhouse told Mr. Gorka. 
who was apparently hosting his program from a gun show. I tried to promote it uh, to get people to come and hear about censorship and Second Amendment. And they didn't like that. The woke mob didn't like that. <laughs> so Cry Rittenhouse went on to say that the Texas event had been rearranged. But just recently, as of this morning, the Oak Room at the Venetian canceled us and bent to the woke mob. Yes, that's what they said, saying we weren't going to host you guys anymore, he said. While Cry Rittenhouse has become a hero to the gun rights lobby and speaks at events across the nation, Las Vegas also has its own place in the debate about America's gun culture. Mm -mm -mm. So look like the Southern Star posted a tweet and it's dated back on January 13th, 2023, no more. Southern Star Bureau is an apolitical organization, but we feel that this event doesn't reflect our own values. And we could not, in good faith, continue to rent our space for the, for the event which was supposed to happen on January 26th. We don't do rallies. We make beer for people who like beer, according to the Southern Star. So this is what they posted, January 13th, 2023, at 1.48 p.m. So I guess Cry Rittenhouse just didn't like that. He did not like it. So he did respond on Twitter and he said, this is what Cry Rittenhouse said. Cry Rittenhouse said, it's really disappointing to see that places continue to censor me and not allow my voice and many other voices to be heard. And they bit to the woke crowd and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on the event on the 26th. I was supposed to speak at. So he responded on January 13th, 2023 at 4.48 p.m. So I guess he's out of luck, you know, I guess. You know, although the courts might let you go and some might uphold you as some kind of folk hero, there are many left in the world that sees you nothing but a killer. Y'all gonna have to tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.